got a pillow of oats and a shovel. And he started going over to Farmer Brown's farm. He started going over to Farmer Brown's farm. He got halfway there. He put the pillows down on the ground. He took the shovel and began to dig. He began to dig. He began to dig. He began to dig. And he dug a hole so deep that a mule could fit in it. Then he covered that hole with branches and leaves so nobody knew there was a hole. He leaned that shovel against a tree, picked up the pillow of oats, and went over to Farmer Brown's farm. He went over to Farmer Brown's farm, and there he went into the barn. And there his topo was a prize mule. There his topo was a prize mule. He took the pillow and he put it under the nose of that prize mule, and the prize mule began to nibble. The prize mule began to nibble. He untied that rope. He led that mule from where he was tied up to that pole. He led that mule from the barn. He led that mule from the farm. He led that mule to where he had dug that hole and covered with branches and leaves so nobody knew there was a hole. He raised the pillow over the hole and the mule fell in. The mule fell in. He took that shovel. He started throwing that dirt in that hole on top of that mule. Throwing that dirt in that hole on top of that mule. Throwing that dirt in that, that hole on top of that mule. And here's what that mule did. That dude just shook that dirt off, stamped the ground, and rose on up. Just shook that dirt off, raising and, and stamped it the ground, and raised on up. And he raised up the joy's eyeball to eyeball to that farmer. Now that farmer did not know that that mule got down out of the hole because it was, it was pretty dark. Now that prize mule thought to himself, what I could do, what I should do, is turn around and give that farmer a good kick, which is what he deserves, or take a lesson from the Reverend Martin Luther King, turn on the cheek and go on back to my farm. And that's what the prize he did. Turned his cheek and went on back to his farm. Well, the next day was the day of the county fair. And that's when the children brought their ducks and their roosters for competition. The ladies brought their cakes and their pies for competition. And the general brought their, cow, their, their cows and mules and... Well, cows and pigs and mules for competition. And there was old Farmer John's mangy mule. He looked around, he saw that prize mule. He thought he saw a ghost. He ran from the fairgrounds, ran for the county, ran for the state, and nobody's ever seen him since. Nobody's ever seen him since. Nobody's ever seen him since. Now, that prize mule got something important to tell folks. That prize mule has something to tell folks, and let me tell you what that prize mule will tell you. Let's say if you, one day, not at your school, because all the people at your school are just wonderful people. But let's say somewhere else. You're playing baseball, and somebody comes over and says, that, that, that bat belongs to me. Would you go get another bat and hit him in the head because he's going to try to steal your bat from you? Absolutely not. Let's say that you're in your classroom, and some person who is a visitor comes in and says things that are not true about you and put your name in the book. Would you go get a baseball bat and hit him in the head because they're saying things not true, true about you? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Let's say, wonderful teacher, that some other teacher from another school is saying things not true about you. Put your name in the mud. Oh, just saying ugly, terrible things about you. Would you go get a baseball bat and hit him in the head because they're saying things not true about you? Absolutely not. That cries you would say, if somebody's saying things that's not true about you, put your name in the mud. Oh, just saying ugly things about you. Here's what that prize will tell you what to do. Just shake it on off, step it on, and rise above. Just shake it on off, step it on, and rise above. If that prize will here today, he'll say, if somebody is messing with you like a mosquito or a water bug or a gnat, all you've got to do is just shake it on off, step it on, and rise above it. Just shake it on off, step it on, and rise. Stay with me. Just shake it on off, step it on. And rise up. Let's say it one more time. Just go back. Why don't we just do it together? Stand up, children. If you will. If somebody's messing with you, messing you like a water bug or a gnat, if somebody's putting your name in the mud, just shake it out off, stamp it down, and rise up. Let's do it for your teachers. Just shake it out off, stamp it down, and rise Let's do it for the librarians. Just shake it on off, step it around, and rise up. Let's do it for your parents. Just shake it on off, step it around, and rise up. Let's do it for all the good people in the world. Just shake it on off, step it around, and rise up.